How's it going guys? So today I wanted to make a uh, video on my creative process, how I come up with my ideas and um, the process of what I'm thinking about while I'm designing. Today's video is brought to you by Milanote, which is what you're looking at right now. Milanote is a really, really great service if you're trying to mood board, storyboard, trying to get your ideas before you actually start making your ideas. In my case, you know, I start in something like this before I jump into Blender. A couple of months ago, Milanote started sponsoring the channel, and ever since then, I've just been using them for my creative process and trying to come up with ideas, because I don't start from scratch just looking at the blank Blender screen. I start with a lot of inspiration and a lot of references. So this case, you know, I've dragged in a link here, and I pasted in a lot of art that I thought was really cool. Now, for the theme of these pieces, I wanted to take the idea of, like, having these primitive models along with some pieces of real life. Like this, you know, you have some primitives along with, like, some plants and flowers. This one has some rocks. This one has like a skull. You know, all of them have the theme of some primitives that are placing around to make this aesthetic feel along with models that look like something from real life, you know, like a couch or a rock um, or a shoe. That was kind of the idea that I really wanted to go for for this idea. For me, coming up, coming up with ideas, having a theme really, really helps me rather than just sort of throwing, you know, darts at a wall trying to figure out if I'm going to hit the right thing. So that's kind of what I did there. Now that I had sort of the visual aesthetic going, I wanted to go and paste in some color palettes. So I went to adobecolor.com and got some color palettes that I thought really spoke to me and that I liked. And then you can just bring in a note here and then paste in a hex code and bam, you have a color palette. So it's another great thing about mood boarding and storyboarding is you can paste in your mood, your theme, your color palette, the aesthetic you wanna go for. So I put in three that I thought were really good and really cool. So that's how, um, that's just sort of the, Simple idea there. Then I started thinking about lighting. So I pasted in the link for two different HDRs that I thought were appropriate. I may not even, you know, the plan was maybe I wouldn't use them, but having them on the board to sort of help me get in my mindset of the lighting, that's what really helps me. Last thing I started to do was do a little bit of model hunting to kind of get my idea going. So I started looking things and, and I wanted to figure out like, what is my theme going to be? Because a lot of these are thematic. You know, this one's got the pill, this one's got some interior. This one has like the inside of like a studio with the lighting like that. This one's got the shoe They are They all have a particular theme going and I wanted to figure out what what, what is my theme going to be for the design to make sense. Um, then I stumbled upon this Space Odyssey astronaut. It's like, okay, I think I want to try to do like a really interesting abstract space theme. And so I ended up getting these two models as a shuttle, which kind of isn't showing up, a uh, Earth, and here we have this astronaut. And we just had a couple of the models that I pasted in there that kind of fit the aesthetic. Didn't really have to use them if I didn't end up using them. So now that I have this, I went straight into starting to come up with my idea and starting to model it. All right, so I went straight into designing this. I love sort of a circular base that just circles in, in general are very satisfying to look at. And that was sort of the idea of mixing some objects of real life with things that are satisfying. So you can see here, nailing out the idea of, the, of space. So we have the space shuttle, we have the astronaut, and right down there is sort of the hinting of like a planet with its little moons. Um, and if you didn't, like if the viewer doesn't catch that, that's fine. Uh, then we have the background, try to pull everything together. And then we have, now I'm starting to do some primitive, um, simple modeling to get just some nice pieces in there so it looks good aesthetically. Um, and so we started just going around doing some random stuff that I think are just very satisfying to look at. That was the whole idea is just, is it nice to look at? Does it make you feel good when you look at it? Yes, let's add it into the scene around the theme of modeling. That's just sort of the way I approach these abstract kind of still life pieces. So then I jumped straight into shading. I used the uh, new material builder for the shading. You can check out the video that that is linked in the description if you wanna know what the material builder is. It's just, the materials you're seeing there just made it super easy. You can see me going back to Milanote several times just to grab that color palette and that theme. And I used uh, just some really fun, all those crazy looking nodes are from the material builder. Um, so then I just jumped into lighting. I used an HDRI to sort of assist the lighting and then we got that sort of polishing up the, the shading and the lighting, and then we finished with this really nice piece right here. So yeah, this is the piece that I finally came out with from my sort of process. I wanted to get something that looked really interesting and really cool. 
Um, I'm really happy with it. I love the design. I love the uh, the shading and the lighting and all that fun stuff. It's a really fun piece to work on. But that is my process, my creative process with coming up with random ideas to just sort of get my creative juices flowing. You guys, if you want, if you want to try out Milanote, you can grab it linked in the description. You can check them out. Incredible service there. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you learned something.